Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning April 26, 2021. So I've already meditated upon this message. Here we go. The first message that came through was <laughs> that we need to stop avoiding our human existence. Uh, and this gets a little bit deep and it's layered. So our surface level human story, a lot of us are looking at it like we have to fix it. If I'm not accomplishing this or that, or if I don't look this way or that way, or, you know, then I'm no good. And being so, um, they're saying (laughs) peer-based, being so peer-based, worrying so much about what other people think of us, right? Worried about the judgment, that that informs our choices. This is going to be a week where things blow open and it really is up to us and the frequency that we're putting out there into the world that's going to determine how that looks. And I know a lot of people, a lot of us humans, we just want the answers, right? But that's not how it goes. If someone's just giving you the answers, that's for entertainment purposes only. You understand? This is not a time to go into victimhood mentality. This is not a time to give in to feeling powerless. Now, as I say that, This is a week where we start to understand what true power is. True power is not screaming and controlling and telling people, you can't say this, you can't say that, you have to do this, you have to do that. You have to be my expectation of you. That is not power. And doing, as people say, that's not bringing peace either. How many people, maybe some of you out there are, people pleasers? Because you think that's the right thing. Or you want to try to quell any sort of confrontation and really you're working against the growth you're working against what if it's a situation where two people are arguing what those two people are learning from interacting with one another now every situation is different of course but this is going to be a week as i said everything's going to break open and if you go into a space of oh poor me oh my gosh i don't know what to do oh what was me what was me you're going to continue to struggle remember we're starting <laughs> We're starting to shift. I want to be careful with how I put this because I don't want to put it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're, we're shifting dimensions, really. Okay, we have been for a while. Um, but don't close down. If you don't relate to that, that's okay. Just hang with me here. Again, I have a varied audience here. You interpret it the way that works for you. But what I'm getting at here is if you continue to feed the negative part of a human story, and you continue to expect things to go wrong, or you think that controlling people is the way to bring peace, or the way to bring peace is by, if I put judgment, if I put social judgment on you for doing X, Y, and Z, then we can make people change and they can start behaving the way we want them to, right? So that's one layer of the message and escapism. So we're not encouraging false positivity or that toxic positivity, uh, acting like you're, (laughs) you know what I'm talking about. But what we're trying to work towards here is understanding that our surface level human story, we chose it. I know we already know that, but let me say it again. We chose it, right? We forget that, don't we? And we have to, they're saying too that, you know, they're saying it like humans need to stop. So I'm going to say we need to stop um, putting judgment on people for their growth. What does that mean? We can look at someone. There's pieces to this message. Hang with me. We can look at someone and say, yeah, you're trying to be all like, you know, higher frequency now. But I remember you back in the day, you used to party all the time. I remember that you did this, this, and this. I remember that you dated this person and that person. Then you made these choices or whatever. Okay. And they're not recognizing, we are not recognizing who someone has become through all of that. Right. How often do we have people going up and digging up someone's past to diminish them? Now, I'm not talking about people who are just trying to pretend to have grown. <laughs> like that person that comes back and says, baby, I've changed. You know, you know, use your, you use your intuition there and you decide for yourself. But I'm talking about people who have done real growth and people just want to keep dragging them down. Why? Mm, it <laughs> depends on the situation, but a few examples would be, you know, you stay where I'm comfortable with you, right? You don't change because I'm afraid of change. Don't you grow because I don't want to grow. 
And I know a lot of people, especially in romantic partnership, they have parted ways with someone because they were growing and the other person wanted to pull them back. All right. So there's going to be some awareness around this for um, a small portion of the population. Uh, you're going to really, how do I put this? You're really going to start understanding your deepest essence. And that's not something that you can fool yourself around. Okay. You're going to start understanding how powerful this like crystalline light is that you can bring through you. You're going to start expanding your awareness where you look at the human story and you go, I had to go through that. So I understand what it is to be human. I went through that because I'm supposed to hold space. I live in this place that ugh, doesn't really make sense on the surface. But I know that wherever I'm called to, I'm supposed to bring healing. I don't have to go out there and be like, heal all of you, like be healed. You don't have to do that, right? But you show up with your quiet, beautiful, peaceful awareness. And, and, and you bring that kind of healing in that way, okay? And so you're not going against human free will. You're not controlling or manipulating energy. You're just holding space. And people can make their own decision about whether they want to allow that light to come in to ignite their own light maybe, and to radiate that out, okay? So we, there's this other message, need to stop getting so invested in our human stories. As I was just saying, for a small portion of the population, uh, and you know who you are, <laughs> right? who have a very unique sort of, let's call it a DNA structure, or you have a very, some of you have a very unique um, origin, yes? Uh, you are going to understand this better than anybody. But for many of us humans, we think this surface level story is it. And that's all there is to it. And help me fix my finances. Help me fix my love life. Help me fix my career. Help me finish my project. Or tell me how special I am as a human. That story they're saying is coming, we, I guess... I don't know how to say this. It's like this message here of like we humans have incarnated and we're, you know, trying to do all this stuff and we are supposed to be healing the planet. And then, of course, you come in and you forget and, you know, you start getting wound up in the story and you think that really does define you. And we become power hungry. Uh, we get scared of everything. We're scared of, you know, people losing their minds. I know, guys, I know people are losing their minds doing horrible things out there. But we need to take charge, putting that in a very human way, <laughs> but we need to be aware and start putting some effort into understanding our soul self and not just get in this loop of this is who I am as a human. All right? Now I put these messages out and it always amazes me how it sometimes gets lost in translation. <laughs> okay? Something goes amiss and I get it because you know it we could sit here and try to be in our peace and our expansiveness and our fifth dimensional selves and you know functioning more from that energetic space and then something very 3d comes at us and it's like oh I, I got to go into that third dimensional ego consciousness and and take care of this these are messy times and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you Remember, angels and archangels and light beings and our spirit guides, they're not here to live for us. They're not here to give us answers. If someone comes at you, any reader, anytime, anywhere, go ahead, let's talk about it. <laughs> but if they come and say, here's what it is. Here are the answers. Here's your future. It's going to go like this, this, and this. It's for entertainment purposes only. Why? Please don't forget who you are. Oh my God. If you really allow yourselves to get numbed out, and you forget that soul self, you forget your power. And when I say power, again, it's not the third dimensional ego consciousness power. It's the soul light. It's the soul power. If you forget that, it's like live wires and it's dangerous. You can't do that. All right. So whatever's bothering you on the surface, process it. Okay. I'm not saying ignore it. I'm not saying buzz past it, but ask yourself, why is it there? Why would I have created this situation? What belief do I have 
around this situation? What have I always accepted as a truth? And where do I go from here, right? Don't get hung up in the surface level story. They're even saying now, this is a distraction. It's a distraction. Okay. Uh, There is, there's something going on here where people are being subconsciously kind of messed with. All right. And so if you, let me put it this way. If you put, if you put yourself out there and you're in a low space and a low frequency, you want to complain. You don't want to get better. You just want to look at everything that's wrong. Maybe you're in pain and you need to look at where that pain is still, that pain story is still running and you do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself. What do you need to do to find peace? Because if you don't, this is where we start seeing people snapping. The messages they were trying to, I'm trying to like articulate it. Some of the, some of these messages you can't put into human words. So forgive me as I fumble here, <laughs> right? But you know, there, if I'm going to like come close to putting it into words, it's like, I know some of you call it mind control or what have you. That doesn't quite hit it. It doesn't quite hit it. Um, they're saying it's an invitation. This, this thing that comes in and makes people short circuit, it's an invitation. And I feel like that invitation is just getting so in that, that lower loop of negativity and fear and pain and doubt and not coming out of it, not coming out of it, refusing, getting into a victim mentality because that gets you attention. Now, if you've actually been a victim of something, again, that's, that's something different. Yes, that's, that's a victimhood too, but it's a different type of victimhood. And yes, make sure that you are getting proper help with whatever you are experiencing. But I'm talking like people who drain others by being a victim or they're shifting me to another group of people that just assume that the world is just evil and, uh, or yeah, they're correcting me, the world is against them. That's the invitation. Why? It's like leaving your front door wide open. Okay. And then boom, boom, boom. All these energies come in. If you want to see it that way, <laughs> again, I'm just trying to articulate this. It's, it's not easy. Uh, those energies come in, it hits some broken wiring, and now the wild wires are just going in. They're acting out. What can we do? I always say, and you've heard before, be a carrier of light. Let's go into what that looks like. Does that mean that you ignore your surface level life? You never get mad. You never make mistakes. No. Remember, you on a, on a you know, human story, you're, you're supposed to be engaging in things to learn from them. Doesn't mean you deny. But peace is what we all need. And that's where we need to be. Whatever's coming up, you need to process it. Look at why it might be there. Do the work behind it and come through and come through and choose the peace. Bring that light into you. And then you're not done. You got a job to do, right? If you're watching this video, you have a job to do. And that is one to remember yourself to let that light come on out. Let yourself be healed. Okay. Uh, And then to turn around and put that light out for the earth. You can imagine crystal white light coming through and coming through the entire planet. Now, again, do not be sitting there and going, I'm super peaceful. Therefore, I think everyone else should be peaceful. And I just, I'm going to force the light on everybody else. It doesn't work like that anyway. All you can do is offer. So everyone this week, do at least one, if not one a day, but do at least one meditation where you imagine this crystalline light coming through you, filling up you, healing you. They're saying reconstructing you. We've been so affected. We've been so affected. And then imagine that light going out into the world or imagine that light pouring down over the earth. And anybody who wants to accept it, let them have free will to accept it or not to accept it. And for those who don't want to, offer a backup of, hey, you're worthy. Send that energy out there. 
hey, you're worthy. And then let them come to whatever conclusion they're going to come to. All right? They're saying there's a great separation happening. And I know a lot of times people, especially on YouTube, YouTube has become, unfortunately, a place where it's all about tell me the future, tell me fortune telling, uh, which doesn't have to be. If you're like somebody who does like fortune telling type reason, please, I'm not trying to say that you're bad. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. But I think we need to take it for what it is. All right. People want predictions. Again, there are lots of spiritual practitioners out there who do predictions and they can be very interesting to watch. And if the predictions come true, you go, whew, so glad I had the heads up, but they don't always come true. As a matter of fact, they hardly ever come true. Why? Because each one of us is contributing. We're contributing. We're putting it out there. And it gets wound up and it bursts. That's how I'm seeing it, like burst through certain people. Be kind. Is that so hard? We, we need to be kind. <laughs> right? I know that I'm like being very simplistic about it, but we need to be kind. And forgive me as I sit here. I, I just want to catch everything. This is going to be a process. You're not going to do this overnight. Because everything that we all think that we know, um, you know, even people who sit in meditation all day. We get irritated by things, right? We, <laughs> we are still going to have our experiences, but we can't invest in that. Not denying it, but just don't get so wound up in it that you start spinning. I mean, I've had clients come to me and, you know, first point of breakthrough, you know, they come with their, their question to begin with. And it might be something like, what is that person thinking what is that person doing and how do I win out over those people? Now, I was put on this planet to try to help people like that, to go right into it. Remember I told you guys I end up living in cities and I don't know why the heck I go there, <laughs> but I end up living in cities where some major catastrophe just happened and there's pain. And I know a lot of you out there, you can relate to that. That doesn't mean I'm in here trying to save people, but doing what I can, okay, to bring some sort of healing, to be a you know, reflector, to reflect back so that people can uh, awaken whatever needs to awaken within them. And that's what people, my clients get when they come for these, you know, personal voice recordings, it's basically a personal podcast. <laughs> I guess it's not a podcast if I'm not casting it out, but you know what I'm saying. That's basically what you're getting. You're going to get a lot of reflection. You're going to get guidance from the angels to help you spark and awaken. So in the example I was giving about, you know, client coming and starting with their surface level question, which is all good. I'm glad that people are looking at that. What we then need to do is go, why are you so wound up and so concerned about what somebody else is doing? Well, because what they're doing affects me. That's an acceptable answer. Okay. <laughs> right. But then what does that trigger within you? Why do you feel the need to jump on that and control it so much that you're asking a medium and a, and a channeler to tell you what that person's deepest thoughts are? That's the kind of work we're talking about. And nobody ever wants to do that. <laughs> That's where we get a lot of pushback. That's where you'll see people um, have moments, again, where they burst out. Why? Because they're in that low frequency. And you can, and some of you practitioners out there, I know you know this, but uh, you know, you can show up as a soul with this duty, basically, and offer it. But how, whether they're willing to take it or not, or listen to it, right? Or let, when I say take it, not take my advice. Who am I? I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about allowing some turn, some, some just like shift, even if it's small, to open that up so that they can get into their light too. Sometimes it's a good time. Sometimes it's not. We do the best we can and leave it, okay? <laughs> that's about all you can do. But that's what we're talking about here. If you get wound up this week and beyond in the surface level story, if you don't work towards peace, we are not going to grow. We are not going to grow. Well, how can I be at peace when this and this? <sighs> Listen, if we all got into that place of peace and loving, half the stuff that you're seeing out in the world wouldn't be happening. Wouldn't be happening. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, then let's try it, shall we? Spread the word. How about we all work towards peace 
Let's check back in a month and see how things are going. As an aside, I will be coming out with a meditation challenge. I'm crafting those videos. Give me a little time to do that, but I'll keep you posted on when those are ready. And then we can kind of come together and start really doing some like real work. Okay, the kind of work that could help shift the world. And practitioners, we need to start working together a little bit more. Again, unfortunately, social media, it, it puts us against one another some, in a way. I know that's kind of a weird way of putting it, but you know, it's, it's I, you know what I'm talking about. So if we can start working together and not in this way of like, you know, can you boost my career or, you know, trying to use one another, but you know, being more cooperative, that's what we're on the planet to do. Social media is just the tool to have reach. Okay. So there's a lot here. There's a lot here guys. And we could go on and on. I'm going to pull some cards here in a little bit, but, uh, I don't know how else to put this. It's time to shift. It's time to go into that deepest part of you, the truest part of you and allow that to come on out. And I bet so many people are going to resist that. Why? Victim mentality victim mentality or being manipulative or being angry resentful bottom line here is that we need to work on the peace oh but this is happening in my life that's happening in my life every time we put energy into that we're losing not losing Another, the deeper part of us is kind of shifting back. We're burying it. That's how I want to put it. We're burying like that real essence, the very thing that can bring us peace, harmony, love, beauty, grace, balance. What choice are we going to make? All right. Let's get on to the cards. All right. So let's see what we have going on for this week. Now the cards are a little more week specific, but... Like I said, you can always go back uh, to any video and see what message is there. And try not to listen to these videos with, oh yeah, that's totally my surface level life. That's what's going on. There's, there's a deeper message going on. It's a deeper awakening. Mm -hmm. And the call for growth is immense. It's immense. We need to get there. Yeah, there's a... They're saying that um, the turmoil will keep going if we're not careful. Oh my, if we're not careful. Okay, so these <laughs> came out together. I'm going to read this one first. So this is Overcoming Difficulties. It's Archangel Jeremiah. So if you don't know about Archangel Jeremiah, Jeremiah has uh, this energy. It's very interesting of looking at the past. Now you might see this as past lives. I, you know, I don't believe that time is actually linear. That's a human construct, but uh, that all of our lives are kind of happening all at once. But if you see it as a past life or... Um, repeating patterns, things that keep coming up in your world. Archangel Jeremiah is a great archangel to work with to help you get that clarity. All right. Now, just knowing it isn't enough. The thing they're coming in here and saying the thing that humans keep missing is that they they think that if they just know it, that heals everything. If I just wear a crystal, that heals everything. No, it's all about your intention behind it. It's you activating. It's you putting things into practice. But I'm telling you, you put something into practice and you don't have good intentions behind it. It's not going to work out well, okay? So the card says, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. I would more say we're coming through, all right? We cannot get into this holier-than-thou place, or thinking that your work is all done. I think this is more saying, it's time to lay down the things that you think of as difficulties or challenges. Well, no, my situation's very real, except it's not. It's just a story. It's just a story, <laughs> right? So don't be putting your energy into that. Put your energy into the soul growth, whatever that looks like for you. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Every day has to start out like that. And it's funny how that sort of lands on deaf ears. And then people can't believe when their lives aren't turning around. Or they can't believe when horrible things are happening out in the world. We all have a duty to help heal this planet. We all have a duty to bring the peace, as I've been saying. 
So we have to step up and do it, okay? This next card, again, these cards are very dated and they do kind of just focus on the surface, but it's a little bit of a throwback. I was like, oh, I forgot about these cards. <laughs> we'll talk about it. So we have career transition, Archangel Shamuel. So Shamuel is known as the Archangel of love, but really she's about self-love and reaching your fullest potential, opening the doors to understanding yourself. And that's what I'm talking about when we have circumstances or we're holding on to resentment to someone or we can't understand why a certain relationship didn't work out or, you know, a job didn't work out or whatever, you will be put, and this is the message of Archangel Samuel, you will be put in front of the people you need to be around. Now, for many people on this planet, it's because we're learning something from one another. We're breaking something open in each other. You don't have to barge into someone's life and say, I'm here to heal you. This is what you need to do to be different. No, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. But being calm and peaceful. I actually um, had to take a, a lift ride last night. And I get into the car and this woman who was the driver, she seemed, I could just tell, you know, if you're an empath, you can pick up people's energies. But she was stressed and she had some stuff going on. So we're just chatting and I could tell, you know, she was very kind and, you know, we kind of had our little chit chat back and forth. And then I just felt that she needed some quiet time. So we just remained quiet. And when she dropped me off, I said to her, I said, well, I, I hope that all of those obstacles that have been popping up for you, I hope they melt away and you have nothing but blessings <laughs> come on through. Um, you know, that's not always going to be the case in life. You know, you're going to have obstacles and challenges and blessings, but whatever, you know, it's just what I wanted to say to her. I just, you know, I hope you have some blessings come in. And she turned around and looked at me and I thought she was going to burst into tears. I really did because it seemed like she just needed to be understood or to have somebody kind of pick up on um, maybe what she was feeling, having some empathy, being a little supportive. And that little bit goes a long way. I was just out hiking this morning and I made sure I smiled and said good morning to everyone I came across. And it wasn't out of obligation. It was I genuinely want to hold some light and I want to be friendly. What's up with people not being friendly anymore? <laughs> and there were a couple of people who just kind of looked at me like, Psh, whatever, and kept on going. Now, normally I'd be like, rude, rude people out there, don't you? How dare you not say good morning back, you know? But this morning I was like, no, they're in a different space and that's okay. Just like it's okay for me to be friendly, it's okay for them to do whatever that is. I don't know. But <laughs> the point is, is to not take it in. All right. So that's just a little message I wanted to bring up. So it says your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Again, I know we humans were so big on the career, but remember guys, that's still surface level. I understand it's exactly, you know, that's how we spend our day. It's exactly what we get invested in, but um, pay attention to the life purpose thing. Okay. If you go into understanding yourself on a deeper level, and you show up a little more authentically, you're not afraid to be you, you're not afraid to come on out and say what you gotta say, opportunities start coming to you and that's what this is talking about. So please don't take this at surface level and go, oh, that's, oh, that's great, that means I'm gonna get that promotion or I'm gonna, you could, but that's, it doesn't mean as much as you think, I think is what they're trying to get across, okay. So then we have sensitivity, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Haniel is all about uh, balancing the divine feminine and deep introspection, deep introspection. She's associated with the moon phases uh, and again, that feminine nature. So <laughs> high full moon, <laughs> I think it's on Monday, right? Full moon in Scorpio or Libra if you, you know, follow sidereal astrology. But Haniel is helping us to look at what we need to see. That's what she does. All right. Archangels actually don't have a gender, again, a human construct. But for our ease of conversation here, hi, we'll, we'll call her she, I don't know. But be prepared, be prepared for things to open up and you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, okay? You're not, <laughs> you're not gonna wanna hear, hey, I victimized myself in that situation. You're not gonna wanna hear, hey, you know what? You need to be more aware of how you come off to people. You're not gonna wanna hear, hey, you know what? That's not the person for you. Hey, you know what? You're not going to get that career that you want. You know why? Because you don't really want it. <laughs> right? You're not going to hear that. But it's going to open something up that's extraordinary for you. Again, hi, Archangel Haniel. That's what she comes in and says. Look at what you're doing. You're forgetting your power. You're forgetting who you are. You're getting um, 
sorry, my voice is going out. You're forgetting who you are and you're allowing things that actually don't matter to drain you. Okay, there you go. So there's that. You are extra sensitive. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Don't be a wimp though. Don't do that victim. See, again, spiritual people do the victim thing of I'm too sensitive and black. Sensitive people have to be the strongest to be in this world. Show up. All right? Show up. Just show up. Honor your sensitivity. It is a gift and you do not need to let anybody say, hey, you shouldn't be that sensitive or, you know, you can't come to work and care about people. Ugh. No, no, that's not what we're doing. Okay. But I will say this, as these things come up, you know, again, there's a full moon going on. So yeah, you're going to be a little sensitive. I have a cancer moon, y'all. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. But I think, yes, you're going to, you're going to maybe be careful with fighting with people. Check your anger. If you start to feel like even hurt too, they're saying hurt, angry, resentful, any of those things, stop yourself and go, why? Why is that getting, why is that stressing me? Why do I feel all buzzy about it? What is that? That's this energy of Archangel Haniel. Look at it. It's a gift. You're going to be like, this is not a gift. This thing fell apart right in my face. And I hate that. <laughs> Everybody does. But if you look at it and you process it, we've been talking about that, you process it and you can let it go, watch how things open up for you. Okay. Gifts from God. This is one of the best, I would say the best card in the deck. Archangel Sandalfin, he's all about balancing your chakras. Make that a practice this week. Balancing out, I keep calling it your wiring, um, you know, your, your structure, however you want to see that. Uh, but being at peace too, that's Archangel Sandifan, being peaceful, grounded, and balanced. Haniel's about balancing. Sandalfin is about balancing. Guess what the message is? Uh, be balanced. Okay. <laughs> we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. See, we block out the good stuff when we're just going, no, I'm mad at my boss and I don't have to forgive them. No, I'm mad at my parents and I don't have to forgive them. I'm going to torture them all the time. You know, I like, come on. Come on, leave the old story behind. Leave it behind and face forward. Process, don't leave it just hanging there because those are gifts. Those were gifts, even the bad times, those were gifts. I've been through some traumatic stuff too. And I know it's weird to call those things gifts. Ugh, a little cringy to call them gifts. Maybe that's going too far in a human way. But really, if I look at what did each one of those situations teach me, it's been extraordinary. I would never be who I am. If I, and I wouldn't be able to do what my soul came here to do if I didn't experience what it is to truly be human. What's the dark underbelly of humans collectively? What is this energy in this third dimensional ego consciousness world? What is it capable of? If I didn't bear witness to that, how would I show up? How would I be of help if I didn't know what kind of help was needed? Right? So... Let some of that stuff go so that you can take some of these gifts. And again, if you're sitting there going, gifts from God means I'm going to get a gazillion dollars and send me some. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but we it doesn't have to be like surface level stuff. You feel me? Okay, I can't pick up the cards. One moment. Okay, well, <laughs> the cards got stuck on the table. Weird. All right, so let's get a color card going here. Yeah, they're saying it's time for those deeper uh, spiritual lessons. So let's get onto this card here. It's Pearl, connect to the divine. The number is 25, reduces to seven. This is archangelic kind of energy. And this is coming through and saying, get, get in touch with that higher light. Get in touch, bring that back in, open it up. Or else when we seal off and we're not allowing light to be within us, we're not igniting our own light if it's been diminished in some way uh, or you're trying to protect it or something like that. If you don't allow that to come on out and protect your energy, then it's going to be taken over by this density consciousness. It's going to be taken over by thick, heavy, foggy, soupy, we go on all day kind of energy. And what happens then? 
You're, you're just, <laughs> there's no awareness. And there's going to be fear because you can't see what's actually around you. This is where we get into that thing where people say, no, that person's my friend. No, my love partner really loves me and they can't see that they're in an abusive partnership or they can't see that their friend is actually a narcissist. And I know psychologists out there want to shut us down. I hear you. I hear you because we want to be careful with that. But at the same time, let's not do this thing where we don't allow people to discover and to start waking up to some of these patterns that are around us. All right. So when this says connect to the divine, <laughs> think pearls of wisdom. All right. But don't be opening up to the divine just so you can get stuff. What the heck? What the heck? All right. <laughs> Pay attention to what comes through. All right. There's going to be some bit of understanding and that's the gift. The gift is understanding. It's understanding your circumstances. It's understanding you. It's understanding your soul. It's understanding, yes, maybe your origin, if that's appropriate for you, or just understanding how you can come to a place of peace, love, beauty, harmony, and grace, and how you can contribute a better energy into the universe, into this world, and help heal this planet. Now, if you're rolling your eyes at this, I don't know how you got to this video and how you made it to this part of the video because it's a long video, uh, but we need to stop that too. We've allowed the very logistical, what we call logistical or like overly intellectual people or not just people, people get affected by energy. So the energy, this third dimensional density consciousness energy, we've allowed that to infiltrate. And then anywhere you look, the more creative side, the more spiritual side, the philosophical side, that gets diminished because it's not anchored, right? <laughs> so we need to start balancing the two. And I think this is going to help us come to some pretty big breakthroughs. But for this week, as I was saying, you know, the cards are more kind of for this week, but except for this one. This is a pretty good bit of advice for always. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.